I want to talk to you about dispatching angels for harvest. Dispatching angels for harvests. Dispatching the ministering spirits for harvests. Knowing how to get your ministering spirits to go forth and get the money that is either slowed, delayed, or stolen. Always remember this, that inconsistency. It is the parent of all robbery. Inconsistency is the parent of all robbery. So watch this here. Children of God get robbed. You'll get robbed if you're inconsistent. So saints, one of the things that you yourself have to quicken, bring alive, bring into full fruition is learning how to be consistent. Now, look what happens. The ministering spirits, they want you to give them the word to go forth and get your harvest. The ministering spirits want you to do that. The ministering spirits don't feel disrespected. They don't feel like you being mean. They don't feel like you being out of order. They have been sent by the Father because of the blood of Jesus to come and release what is not being released. That's their whole assignment. Their whole assignment it's to put in your hands what has not come, what has been delayed, what has been taken, what has been blocked. In the name of Jesus, ministering spirits, I loose you. I dispatch you right now. I give you the word to go forth and bring my money to me. Bring my harvests to me. Bring the increase to me. Saints, we see that God gives Daniel the answer, but the answer is being blocked by the prince of Persia. It shows you the secret that God gives the increase, but the in, what's this here? The increase can be blocked by a prince, a palate. Now, what you got to catch is that Persia is a place in the spirit that blocks wealth. My God. Persia is a place in the spirit that blocks seeds, blocks humility. Persia and all the demons that roam in Persia, they come to stop you from using spiritual weapons. Every demon in Persia will not give you the excitement for God. They will take away their strip, your joy of the Bible, your joy of the future, your joy of the present. The prince of Persia is a spirit that came to rob Daniel of his answer. Think about that. This prince of Persia was standing there to stop the answer from coming. To rob the answer. It came, the spirit said, no, I'm going to take it from you. There was a fight going on. The angel is bringing the answer. The prince of Persia is trying to take the answer. So what happens to you, O oh child of God? What happens to you in your life? The life of Daniel was to show you what happens to you in your life. If God releases the answer and this prince of Persia is saying, no, I know that the answer is coming, but I come to stop the answer. What happens to you, child of God, when you don't have that violence, when you don't have that aggression, when you don't have that consistency, when you don't have that power, when you don't have that focus, when you don't have that diligence, when you don't have that praise, when you don't have that honor? What happens? Because what if Daniel had took the back seat and said, God got me. 
The Lord going to provide. The Lord going to take care of me. You know, I'm borderline Judge Mattis and Judge Joe Brown at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you, 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 you think that I don't know what's going on. Now, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. I was born yesterday, ma'am. I wasn't born. I was I was born yesterday, but not yesterday, yesterday. Now, I know what's going on. I know exactly how the game go. I know exactly how the game go. Uh, I want to reward you uh, uh, $50 and two cents because I don't believe that you is worthy of the 50000 that you said that Uncle Leroy stole on the income tax check. I don't... So, so, so I, I already ruled. All right, this court is dismissed. All right, I'll see you. Then we don't want to even imitate Judge Judy. Judge Judy, I feel bad. They said, did somebody say Judge Judy was married? I could, oh, my God, I... I, I couldn't do that, but Woo! I couldn't do that. Judge. How do you talk to Judge Judy when you're trying to be freaky with Judge Judy? It's just a thought in my head. You can't talk to no Judge Judy. She always want to rebuke you. You put your hand on her neck and Judge Judy talks. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Judge Judy. What? I'm not. I'm not going there. I almost lost my appetite. <laughs> Galatians chapter 6. Judge Judy done murdered you because she got her, <laughs> she, she got her gavel underneath the sheets. She done pulled it up. You see something rising up. You're like, hey, what? Is that an anchor? Is that a is that a hammer? She done came across, done whipped. <laughs> she done haymakered you. She done came over from the back. You done, done hit the sheets. It got holes in the sheets. You done ran out like Joseph. <laughs> Judge Judy, one bitter woman, shoot. Judge Judy, I done seen Judge Judy rule against people that was supposed to win. Got her heart so hard, she don't want to hear it. Lady come in there, tell the Judge Judy, speak up. Judge, Judge Judy, I, I can't speak up. I got a cold. That's, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Get them out of here because they don't want to speak up. <laughs> it a rule against them because their voice not loud enough. <laughs> you come in there trying to talk like Popeye the Sailor Man, you done lost the whole case. And you were supposed to win. Saint Judge Judy was on the on the on the on the she was on the um, she was on the stand one time and doing talking chopping a chop there was an earthquake that hit California Judge Judy was gone Judge Judy was chopping a chop 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 Judge Judy heard saw that earthquake fume she was gone Judge Judy said I'm bad for a minute but right now. I'm going to tell you this right here. I'm not playing with it. I know that God don't like me. I know that God trying to get me. I know he got a hit out. I know he got a warrant out for my arrest. Because <laughs> he done told me to judge several cases and I ignored him. I know he coming for my head. I'm about to be out. <laughs> I'm not staying here. Saints, you imagine. Saints, even bad children. Children, be they be doing stuff against you. God said, heard it. The child just, <laughs> whenever you see your child run, they not just run. <laughs> your child, <laughs> you think that your children just scared of, scared of stone. Nah. People not just scared of the storm. God be up there. They be doing some stuff on the low. God said, oh. <laughs> they don't change up. All right. All right. Um, how much you say I owe you? You say I owe you about what? What? Do you say about $20? Yeah, I told y'all I'm going to pay you next Friday. But, you know, I just found $20 in the back seat of my, my car. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm about to send it to you cash app. That's what I'm about to do. 
Uh huh. Yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about to send it to you, Cash App. Yeah, I just found it. I don't. I don't want to lose it. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to send it to you, Cash App. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well bless you, man. No, you ain't gotta thank me. You ain't gotta thank me. Uh, hey, hey. I gotta send it right now. You, you gonna send? You gonna send it to text? Text it. Text it to me. Text it right now. Text. <laughs> text. Text. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. All right. All right. Text, text, text it to me right now. Say if there was somebody in, in man, there was somebody in Texas, a tornado came, wiped their whole house out. And people be proud. God sent that tornado, though, oh boy. Says, I'm gonna tell you something. Having spiritual uh right standing with God, you'll know it when the storm hit. <laughs> You you you're not gonna really know how close you is to God until a storm about to come. Boy, you find yourself praying in tongues that you ain't even know. You, you see, people don't know how to pray in tongues. They know how to pray in tongues when that storm comes. <laughs> tons of tons. I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to learn my prayer language. Hora ki anta kosteka on dile kandile koste udi andala kashada mama se mama sa mama kusa. Be praying right there in the clouds of China. Be with all the prayer leaders because the, the storm about to hit. I, just, I, I ain't never heard you pray in tongues. He feel me. He feel me. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray because I ain't ready to die. I got, two, I got two more stuffs that I wasn't supposed to do. The other day I saw this lady, she was up there, uh, you know, I've been in workout mode and stuff like that, but the lady, I, you know, she 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 was like, you know, you're walking the exercises, dot, dot, dot. And so they, they try to make conversation with you, dot, dot, dot. And they was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I've been walking and walking. I was like, yeah, walk, walk, yeah, right, right, right. And then she was like, yeah, running, yeah, I'll, I'll run to, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, run, run, run. Then she was like, what, what, you believe, you believe in running? The first thing that hit my head, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to run from you. You don't understand, huh? See, you got to understand when somebody hits you back with short sentences, that means I don't want to continue the conversation. <laughs> If I, that's for your man testicles, so you understand. If somebody hit you with short questions, you did. You, 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 how many children you got? Two. What color are you black? It's raining too much sunshine. You hot cold. You feel wind? No wind. You sitting again? God, repent. I'm answering you quick because I don't want to keep on talking. Went inside Metro PCS. It smelled funny in there. Why it always smell like Fritos in there? <laughs> I guess the cheaper the phone, the cheaper the cologne. <laughs> Somebody had miracle toilet water. Just sprayed it on them. Just, just galloped the whole toilet. Just <laughs> You can't be smelling like no Lysol. Then the brother tried to take my card. I said, hold on, brother. I got to give you cash because you got some ash. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You got you got that. You got that Ebola hand. <laughs> I'm not going to let you touch my money with that Ebola hand. With the money coming to me, I'm not going to let you touch my car with that Obot or Ebola hand. That Kenya hand. <laughs> Since you see them Chinese people, they always got that mask over their face. Then, then you put two and two together. No wonder the doctor always asks me, have I traveled outside of America in the last 30 days? Say, don't you get real suspicious when you see somebody with a mask over their face? You're like, either you a terrorist, either you a Muslim, 
Either you a terrorist, a Muslim, or you got Ebola. <laughs> it's either three things, and I'm not going to give you a fourth option. It's either three things. Either you a terrorist, either you a Muslim, <laughs> or you got Ebola. And I'm not, I'm not going to play with either three. Saints, I think God, God knew that people overseas was going to be his enemy. So he let their language. And then when they talk to you, <laughs> nah, brother, you're going to have to get that fixed. I understand now you said, but you always, you almost spit on my sandwich. <laughs> so conversation is over by default. I don't, I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> you... <laughs> You you almost spit on my sandwich, so the conversation over by default. I, that that was it. Once I saw the spit fly, see God turned it. All right, He tied tribute what you tried to contribute. That's what He did. He tied tribute what you tried to contribute, and and it went go fly, but He turned it. <laughs> the devil thought He had me, but you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says, what, what, what happened, what happened when, when you have a Thanksgiving dinner and somebody got a gap and they have this, they have this. <laughs> they trying to talk over the food after they don't have tobacco in their mouth. Yeah, blessed be God. No, nah, no, nah, we're not holding no conversation right now. No, nah, we're not talking about that. Uh, we'll talk about it later. No, we in prayer right now. All right. Thank you. Now we 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 meditating right now. No, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I know, but we're gonna talk about that later on. Uh huh. Okay. Be trying to have full blown conversation. Now, what happened? What happened to uh, Uncle Neat? No, they dead. We'll talk about it later on, though. Just focus. Just focus, cause I I I, I um. um God talking to me right now. He's, he's saying something to me. He's telling me. He's telling me. He's telling me not to eat your egg rolls because you spit it. <laughs> that's what he's telling me. Not to eat them egg rolls. Out of everything that's being cooked, don't eat the egg rolls because it came from you. Cause see, see, cause, cause when you ain't got no gate, see your teeth is gates. When you ain't got no gate, everything just <laughs> you don't got no gate. So <laughs> whenever the Holy Spirit is giving you an urgency in sowing. It's because the Holy Spirit know that as a result of you coming to a new season, there's going to be sabotage attacks against you. That means that the devil going to attempt to do different stuff that only your sowing is going to give you the power to stop it. That's why he does that. The father, when he put on me the urgency to sow, I remember there was things that took place like weeks later, months later, that I looked back at my son and said, oh, no wonder. And I had favor, 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 favor. But it was the seed. The father knew that certain stuff was going to take place. So he had me in a sowing, uh, uh, a sowing alignment. See, when you're in a sowing alignment, he let certain stuff take place because he know that there's other things about to take place that if you're not in so in alignment, that stuff going to overtake you. It's going to overthrow you. So he let you get in so in alignment. He'll give you a deep desire to embrace the seed. Because something is about to happen with Satan about to try to sow a seed into your path that will stop your destiny. That's how I go. If I don't use the seed, Satan going to use his seed. 
And if my, if I don't have seed to crush his head, his seed going to crush my head. And that's what a lot of people don't talk about. There are some people that are victims of the seed of Satan. You don't believe it, right? You understand what I'm saying. Those of you all that follow me for long enough, you understand exactly what I'm saying. There are people that are seed carrier for the devil. See, I can't sow seed to God when Satan then sowed seed into me. Saints, there are people that are in partnership with the devil. Satan is sowing into them. That's why they can't sow into God. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. They can't sow into God because Satan's sowing into them. And the seed of Satan is prospering. Remember Zacharias 8, 12, the seed shall prosper. Well, the seed of Satan is prospering in them. So they can't sow. They can't honor God. Because the seed of Satan is at work. When the seed of Satan is at work, you can't sow your seed. Your seed is going to be irrelevant. It's, going, it's, it's not going to be able to function. That's what goes on in the spirit. If I'm a non-sower into God, Satan is a constant sower into me. Wow. Wow. Did you catch that? If I'm a non-sower into God, Satan is a constant sower into me. So Satan is constantly sowing into me. That's why I can't constantly sow into God. So when I start constantly sowing into God, Satan can't constantly sow into me. I shield myself. They're sowing shields, seed shields. The seed will shield me. Now, the seed is not only a shield, but the seed is also a field. And all my harvests lies in the seed. I can unlock anything that God has for me through the seed. And I can manifest it if I listen to God with what I have. I have to train my soul to follow the Holy Ghost with what I currently have in my possession. I have to listen to the Father's voice. I have to be in expectation for the next assignment with what I'm possessing. If you, were, if you never got no seed to sow, what, go, what assignment are you going to complete for God? How? You ain't got no seed to sow. If you never tap into the sowing anointing that God had for you, where are you going to go? Because everything, that, everywhere that God will take you will require you to be a sower. My God. Think about this here. Everywhere that God will take you in this life will require you to be a sower. So if you're not a sower now, how are you going to take you there? I'm waiting for God to take me here. Take me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those places are only for sowers. If you get there, you're not going, you're not going to have no grace or divine backing because you're not a sower. The sowing anointing was sitting upon able to change his future. He kept his soul from the gates of hell with the seed. The queen of Sheba kept her soul out of ignorance through the seed. As she sold bountiful seed into Solomon, Solomon sold bountiful seed into her. She was sowing seeds into Solomon. Solomon was sowing seeds into her. 
I just got a revelation. You sow seeds into those that are sowing seed into you. I'm sowing the word seed. I'm sowing the wisdom seed into you. I'm sowing life into you, my God. Life. Live. Breathe. Move. Have your being. When two sowers collide, God provides. God richly provides. That's what he does. When two sowers collide, God richly provides. The sower soweth the word. See, that's, that's a realm of the sower that's, that, that represents the person that is saw. That's why the Bible said the sower soweth the word. So that other sowers will know I'm supposed to sow into this because this is what's sowing the word. So, so this is how I know. Because uh, it's sowing the word. So now I have a divine law operating that I sow the seed, I sow the money. And when two sores collide, the saw of the word, the saw of the wealth, the saw of the word, the saw of the wealth, the saw of the word, the saw of the wealth. When two sores collide, God richly provides. 